What's good, fellas? Welcome to this presentation. The topic for today is how to become more confident with women in 15 minutes. All right, so my promise to you is by the end of this video, you will feel more confident in regards to women because I'm going to give you some specific advice that you can apply when you're interacting with women. Okay, so women are attracted to men who have strong frames. Okay, there's different terms that I use. These are similar terms just so you can hopefully it sparks something in your mind. Every man is different. So that's why I hit on these different terms, but strong frame. Okay, think of think of a frame as like a picture frame. Okay, and when you communicate to a woman, she comes into your frame and how strong your frame is, is basically she's going to test. She's going to try to poke holes and try to break through the frame. And the better you are at holding your frame, the more attracted she's going to uh, come. Uh, she's going to become more attracted to you because she sees that she can't budge you. Right. Like the game of female and male energy is the male energy is the order and the female energy is the chaos. And when the male energy shows up as order and the chaos cannot break the male energy, that's when she gets turned on. That's when she submits. OK. And when she submits, that's when, you know, the frame is proper. Now she's basically saying you lead and I will follow. OK. And now you can lead her into the relationship you want. So we want to we as men, we want to get good at creating strong frames. Now, what's a, a, a way to do this? I found the best way to get really good at creating strong frames is develop a strong character. What is a strong character? When you watch a movie and you see a character in a movie that has a certain, you know, is he's a certain archetype, he has a certain personality, he has certain values, he has a certain code, and it, he doesn't break. A perfect example is uh, the Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker. He, that Joker was a very strong character. He had a certain personality, certain values, certain mindset, certain beliefs. And he doesn't break character in the movie. He stays the Joker the whole movie, right? So you need to see yourself as a character. You have a certain personality, certain beliefs, certain, you know, code, certain uh, ethics, whatever you want to call it. And you don't break when a woman starts challenging you. When, a woman, when you start talking to a woman, what happens is guys, when they start talking to women, they start becoming reactive and turn into like a little pussycat or whatever, just, you know, saying whatever is going to make the woman happy. <clears throat> and that is not going to turn her on because she's looking for the man who's strong enough to basically contain her feminine energy and check her and keep her, you know what I mean? Keep her in a place where her, because, you know, feminine energy is chaotic energy. Chaotic energy leads to destruction if there's no order. And so she's looking for a man who can allow her to be feminine, allow her to uh, be in her feminine energy and, and be chaotic, but he will create the boundaries or the frame that will keep it so that it's not destructive and it actually leads to creation. It leads to something good, right? So basically a man who has a frame or container who can guide the feminine energy in a direction that leads to prosperity, that leads to evolution, that leads to a better quality of life. That's what she's looking for. So you need to see yourself as that, okay? So a strong character, ask yourself, you know, are you a strong character? Like, do you know your code? Do you know your values? Do you know what you stand for? Do you know you, what your beliefs are? Like you, you need to become a man who knows who he is. You need to spend time with yourself and, and, and even maybe write this stuff down. Like if you don't have clarity on the type of man that you are, you don't have standards, you don't have qualifications. When you talk to women, you should be qualifying them. It's not like a serious like interview or anything like that, but you should be listening to what they say. And certain things should make you say, ah, oh, okay, I like that. And certain things you should be like, ah, oh, I don't know about that, right? Most guys, they just see a woman and she looks good and they're like, oh, whatever she does, it's okay because she looks good. That woman is not gonna get turned on by a man who is just gonna submit to her. Uh, masculine energy is not supposed to submit to feminine energy. That's actually ridiculous. That's off code. That's against nature. And you will be punished. Nature will punish you when you act like that. That's why, you know, these guys are not getting no pussy dry, you know, dry. Uh, what's it called? Dry. Um, <laughs> they got a word for it. When, when you go through a drought, 
or a dry spell. Dry spell and all this shit because you're off code. You're not following nature's code. Nature has a code on how the male and female are supposed to interact. And the better we understand this, the better we will have success in, in this area of male to female dynamics, right? So we need to understand the woman is looking for a strong man, a strong character, a strong frame, a strong personality, a man that can't be broken. So we need to become that. And I use, you know, I will watch movies and I'll look at certain characters and I'll look at that as inspiration. Oh, that's a strong character. How can I be that in my life, right? How can I show up in these, in these different uh, events or places that I'm going and maintain my character? What is, what is that all about? It's just you not being reactive. You don't react. That's why you need to uh, get control over your emotions, right? Because if you're emotional, you're reacting to shit. You need to have some sense of where you're going. You need to know who you are, what your goals are, what are you doing? So then when the girl shows up, you know what you're doing. And when you communicate to her, you just let her know, look, I'm this type of guy. This is what I'm doing. Are you with it or are you not with it? It's not, oh, she shows up and she's beautiful. So now you're like, okay, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? No, you already know what you're doing. You already know what you're about. And she can come along for the journey. That's what she wants, though. She's looking for that guy, the guy who's already doing his shit. Right, the guy who's already on his purpose, the guy who's already moving forward, the guy who's already evolving, and she can be a part of that. She doesn't want the guy who's looking for a girl to make him feel good, and the guy who you know can't get a girl to save his life and shit like that. Like you want to become a masculine, grounded, confident man, and there's a process to that. You know, I talked about it in a video uh, that I made right before this. Right, for example. Literally something as, th as simple as this, you becoming more, um, more able to deal with rejection. That will make you attractive. Why? Because the woman is not, she, she can't deal with rejection. If you show up and you can't handle rejection, that's value. What, the things that you can do that she can't do, that's actually valuable to her. She's looking for a man, like for example, you know, one of the things that attracts women to me is they see my ability to communicate and express myself authentically, and I'm able to do this consistently. So it's not like, oh, I, you know, sometimes I feel good and I'm able to do. No, I'm consistently able to do something that she can't. That's attractive to her because she wants to be able to do that. So you as a man, you want to work on your character and have these qualities about you, these strong qualities that you demonstrate to the world, and certain women are going to see these qualities and want to get around you. You know, and that's that's what it is. And that's part of your frame. You painting your picture of your life. Your life is your frame. Your life is is your your uh, your stage. Like think of it as like you're you're in a movie. Your life is a movie, but you need you actually have the power to make your movie interesting. Right. It could be like an average normal movie. OK, you know, just go to go to work, come back home, watch some TV, eat then repeat, you know, go to sleep, then repeat the, right? That's a boring ass movie. Or you can, you know, say, you know what, man? I want to have a, a rock star date in life, or I want to build a, an amazing business, or I want to, you know, become the highest, you know, achieve the highest field in my career. What, Like you start making some goals and you start moving. And there's a certain energy that comes with that. But you need, you need to find the thing that you really want to do. Find that thing that, that uh, man, sets your soul on fire. Right? What is that thing you do? Achievements. But it's sleeping. And we need to wake that up. We need to wake that up. Because that's what's going to start not only attracting women, but it's going to start attracting the quality of life that you want. Right? The, the things that we do, the actions we take, our decisions to, to, to set an intention. Okay, this is what I want to achieve and I'm actually gonna start going after it now. I'm not gonna read about it. I'm not gonna, you know, hope it happens. I'm not gonna sleep on it. I'm not gonna talk about it forever and never do anything. I'm gonna start moving forward on this. Man, we have so much power, man. We don't understand. Man, if you
you could only understand. Look, you are, you are not this experience of life. You are the person experiencing life, which means you can create, right? You can move in the direction you want to go. You are not stuck in a certain identity or stuck in a certain condition, right? You have willpower, right? You have intuition, you have intelligence, right? I can feel like not doing something and still do it. Or I could have like a, you know, I can be told so someone can tell me, hey, things need to be this way. You need to go to college and do this and then get a job. And I can say, no, I'm going to start a business or no, I see this other opportunity. I'm going to jump on this or no, I'm going to work on my craft, work on my talent and and figure out how to make money from that. Or, you know, you, you find yourself in a condition where you're not getting any women. You can say, I'm not cool with this condition. I'm going to do something about it. And what do you do? You apply your intelligence. Okay, what, what do I need to do to create this new condition? I want more women in my life. Or I want more abundance. Or I want higher quality women. What are the steps I need to take? Right? What is the kind of man I need to become? What kind of character? What kind of frame do I need to create? That's going to attract this lifestyle that I want track you know the type of woman I want you know you start think you start getting down and maybe writing some shit down you know what comes to your mind you're smart you're not stupid you a lot of times we already know what we need to do we're just not doing it okay that's part of the reason why I started providing coaching because with coaching you have accountability you have somebody giving you feedback you have somebody guiding you know so we've added these other elements to help you achieve your goal but you can do it on your own. It's just more difficult, that's all. But it can still be done. Because I did it. I'm telling you, man. I used to be super shy. You know, I used to think, you know, when it came to women, I thought I was doomed, man. I thought I was going to be one of those guys that was going to just settle for, to be honest, I thought I was just going to settle for some average girl or some girl that I don't really like and just kind of just get married and that was the end of that. I thought that was going to be me at one point, but... You know, I decided like, ah, nah, man. Because my thing is, I don't believe life should be miserable. I don't believe life should suck. Right? I don't believe I should be alive in this situation and I'm unhappy and I'm pissed off. and I'm, I don't believe in that. And so that's, that's where my inspiration, my motivation to do something about my condition came from. I said, man... I use my intelligence. I said, man, if I stay in this condition, I'm going to live a miserable life. Every day I'm going to hate my life. Every day I wake up, you know, no no women, no ability to express myself, no ability to, to connect with women. You know what I mean? Lack of self-esteem and all this shit. No social skills. I was like, nah, I can't live like that. I got to do something about it. And then I found out about Code Approach and I pretty much dedicated my life to that. A, a large period of my life I spent going out approaching women. And figuring stuff out on my own. I didn't have a coach, right? I did hire like a coach, like maybe for one session here and there, but you know, but I didn't really see the value of getting a coach. Now I see it because I would have cut and saved so much time, but I didn't realize it at the time. Okay, and you know, you know, money was probably an issue, stuff like that. But as I started to understand things, you know, like for example, when I got into business, I was like. Yo, I want to speed up my results of business. I went and got a coach, right? It's, all it is is just getting the information you need and getting the accountability and the guidance and the feedback you need, right? But anyway, just to recap, man, you if you want to create a strong frame, because I said 15 minutes, there we go, the alarm hit, boom. So let's end it right here. Um, to recap, you want to have a strong frame. You want to become more confident with women, <clears throat> Your confidence is going to come from your understanding of what you're doing. And you need to understand when you interact with a woman, you need to demonstrate a strong character and a strong frame. Get focus on that when you're communicating to a woman. How can I be me? You have to be you and you're not, you can't react to her. When you react to her, you lose. That's how you fail a shit test, by reacting. 
and stepping out of character. When you watch a movie, you're impressed and you respect a, a person who's able to play their character and play it really well and not break character. And that's what the woman is attracted to in real life. She's attracted to the man. That's why she's attracted to the bad boy because the bad boy is not going to react. He's going to be his character no matter what. So we just got to get really good at that. All right. So if you're interested in becoming, you know, a strong character, a powerful character, you know, an unbreakable beast in your confidence, in your grounded masculinity, in your ability to handle life. Okay. And more and more, I'm going to start introducing this term tension, right? Your ability to handle tension, right? You know, basically like energy, right? You step into a certain interaction, you approach a woman, there's a certain energy that comes with that. Maybe it makes you nervous or whatever. You need to learn how to deal with it and become one with it and embrace it. Now it starts to become part of your power because you can handle it. Now you step into the interaction with confidence, but only through, you know, exposure therapy by consistently exposing yourself to that tension. That's where the power comes from. Okay, that's where you want to get to. And so the Unbreakable Beast program, this is a 45-day program where we work together. We work together and we focus in on you developing unbreakable self-confidence, okay, with women. Because when, you, when it comes to women, what happens is when we approach women, we talk to them, we deal with them, we experience a certain amount of tension, a certain amount of anxiety, nervousness, depending on the quality of women. And the better you get at handling that tension, handling that anxiety, that nervousness, the more grounded you become, the more confident you become, and the more masculine you become, guess what? You start attracting more feminine because the feminine, feminine feels safe around the masculine because the masculine brings the order to her chaos. So we just want to get really good at bringing order to her chaos. But the type of order she likes, now that's the art. That's where authentic expression comes in, right? That's where you defining your character and displaying your character comes in. There's certain women out there that are for you and certain women that are not for you. We go out and attract the women who are for us, right? And so in the Unbreakable Beast program, I basically help you to become the, the version of you that's most attractive, that's most confident. What's going to happen? Your dating life is going to change, right? Your success in your business, in your career is going to change because your confidence levels up and you become grounded, right? And you can handle tension. You can handle challenges, all right? So if you're interested in the Unbreakable Beast program, hit me up. I'll give you more details. Thanks for watching. Peace.